Listen up, buddy. Listen, listen to me now. Sorry. Thanks for clicking the video. What's shaking? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. So listen, it has been a while since I had any of my actual writing available for you guys to read, uh, not counting my Wattpad masterpiece and, you know, the other one. Oh my god. That all changes though. That changes today. Because today, the AuthorTube anthology is officially available for purchase. That means that technically I'm an author again. So here is me wearing a fancy jacket. Local Horns is, as far as I'm aware, the first printed anthology that is made up entirely of author tubers, YouTubers who talk almost exclusively about writing. I may be wrong, and if I am, I'll be devastated, but I was honestly just happy to be considered to be a part of this. So anyway, here's the book. The link will be in the description below for you to go buy it if you want, the Kindle copy or the physical book. But if you don't mind sticking around for just a bit and continuing to watch my beautiful face. I'd love to tell you a bit more about the book and about my short story in the anthology and just how it kind of came to be. In fact, you know what, and I'm just deciding this now, but how about we do a giveaway as well? I'll get to that in a bit, but uh, we'll do a giveaway. So I was going to wait until I had a physical copy of Local Horns before I made this video just so I could kind of show you what the paperback looks like, but um, I don't have one yet and, and I figured I don't want to wait too long to make this video, so if you want to know what the actual uh, paperback of Local Horns looks like. Here you go. That beautiful son of a gun that you just saw is R. St. Clair from Regina's Haunted Library and she's the one who actually put all of this together, completely at her own expense and effort and time. Which, by the way, let's just take a moment to imagine what it would be like trying to corral 19 author tubers to work together to make an anthology. Yeah, f*** that. <laughs> Check out Regina's channel, Regina's Haunted Library, she's an absolute legend and she deserves a lot of credit for making this happen. And here's something else as well, all of the profits for Local Haunts is actually going to charity, so that's pretty cool. It's going to a charity called First Book, which helps facilitate education in low-income areas, which is obviously super important. So I'm not saying you're a bad person if you don't buy the book. Well, I'm going to tell you a bit about the short story that I submitted to Local Haunts, but before I do, I just want to let you know uh, who the other authors are involved in this project, because it's very possible that you know about them, that you watch their videos. As far as I'm aware, they're all on YouTube, so you may be familiar with them. Alright. Kevin David Anderson, Cameron Cheney, my mate uh, Dane Cobain, Mihalis Giorgio Stathis, I hope I said that right, uh, Nicholas Gray, E.D. Lewis, Andrew Lyle, Mary McWilliams, Lydia Peeva, Ken Poirier, Ryan Stroud, Michael Taylor, D.L. Tillery, Matt Wall, Jason White, Cam Wolf, Cam Wolf, strong name, sounds like a legend. Probably has a huge di- And CJ Wright. The really exciting thing about Local Haunts is that, like the name suggests, all of the stories are based on local legends and mythology from where that author is in the world. And all of us authors that are involved are scattered pretty much all around the world, so you're going to get some really interesting and diverse and different stories with this anthology. From my accent, you're probably thinking, ah, oh, he's French. Incorrect, friend. Shockingly, I'm actually an Aussie. Yeah, I know. G'day mate, shrimps and barbies and Hugh Jackman, etc. Feel free to dispute me on this, but I don't feel that Australia has quite as good or quite as many uh, quality myths and legends as almost any other culture in the world. So I did actually have some trouble making my pick for what I was going to go with for my short story. As interesting as a ghost in pluggers and in a Cooper hat may have been, I decided to take my story in a bit of a different direction and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. For spoilers sake, I can't really tell you exactly which Australian legend I went with for my story, but what I can tell you is that my story is a bit of a tribute or a homage to vintage campfire horror, and it's called Alone Among the Gum Trees, which is a bit of a cheeky reference for all the Australians watching. So it's basically about a group of tourists who are camping in the bushlands of Western Australia, and they're just having a good time, hanging out by the fire, and then they find out very quickly that there is something or someone else in the bush there with them. Yep, that's right. Tourists. I actually haven't read any of the other stories in the anthology yet, so I'm just as excited as you guys are to read this one, assuming that you are excited. I mean, you should be excited. Uh, Steve Buscemi is excited. <laughs> 
Can you imagine if I just uploaded a book review for Local Haunts? Like I did a full video giving a review of all the short stories and I just torched all of them. <laughs> What's shaking guys, my name's Cam, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing this new anthology called Local Haunts and aside from my story, it's absolute trash. <laughs> Imagine if I was that much of an asshole. A lot of the authors that are involved in Local Haunts are very talented and very experienced, so I don't doubt for a minute that this book is going to be the bee's thoroughly moisturized knees. But let's talk about the giveaway that I've pretty much just now decided to do. You'll find a link below to a raffle. Just go to the description below, click the link, it'll give you a quick thing to fill out. Then let's say in uh, two weeks, exactly two weeks from today, I will buy five people the ebook for Local Haunts. Don't feel like you have to buy Local Haunts, guys, but if you do, you'll be supporting a charity and a bunch of independent authors, really great people, whether or not you include me in that. And whether or not you do buy the book, you have my extreme gratitude anyway for just watching this far in the video. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Anyway, that's about it. Catch ya.